I just wanted to, I think it's good for us to touch on this because we talked about it earlier about people being faced with snakes. What what are the best things to do if you're out bushwalking or, yeah. or commonly on a golf course? Yeah, sure. And you're faced with a snake. What are the best things to do to avoid getting bitten? Okay. Um, so the first thing is, uh, I guess, what you're wearing. So if you're going to be uh, in the bush, then um, covering of the legs and feet is pretty important. So, and it doesn't need to be extreme. I mean, you know, a decent set of boots and long pants in the bush is just fine. That'll give pretty good protection. Um, you do want to be careful about where you place your hands. And so, um, you know, this can be, you know, maybe you're weeding, maybe you're collecting firewood, all of that sort of thing. Just want to be, uh, just awareness of your surroundings. And if you are retrieving a golf ball just off, you know, just off in the long grass, both your legs and hands are at risk there. So being, and again, have the bandage in your golf buggy, you know, have that bandage nearby, have it in your backpack when you're bushwalking. Um, the next thing is just to be a little aware of where you're putting your feet. If you're stepping over a log or a rock or something, you could have a snake that's basking or lying on the other side. And I think the most dangerous situation is when you step on a snake. When you So, so the poor old snake's lying there and all of a sudden it's getting, you know, 60 to 90 kilo of weight pressing down on its spine and crushing its ribs. The, the, the reaction from the snake will be to turn and bite a lot of the time because it's in immense pain. So we want to avoid stepping on them if we can. So that's part of it is just being aware and alert. And then if you see the snake, I mean, anyone who gets bitten by a snake that they can actually see has done something really, really wrong. I mean, if someone gets bitten by one they didn't know was there, fine, I understand. But, but you know, if you see a snake, don't approach. Um, and people often say, well, if I'm walking along a track and there's a snake on the track, what do I do? And I said, well, you can wait there for it to move off. You can walk around it, give it a wide berth. You can make a little bit of noise and see if it shoots through. If it's asleep and not wanting to move, you can easily bypass it by walking around it. Um, so, so just give them a wide berth is the main thing. Now, it does occasionally happen, and it has happened to me one notable occasion where you have didn't know the snake was there. You, it, 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 It's reared up into that defensive neck flat you know ready to strike kind of position and you are physically very 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 close to it so i'm talking you know less than a meter maybe less than half a meter so it's within i guess striking distance and it's reared up and it's highly agitated that under those circumstances um snakes are very uh very sensitive to movement and, and literally the best thing you can do, if it was going to bite you, it would already be hanging off you at that point. So it, it doesn't, still doesn't want to bite you, but you are in great danger at that moment. It's, it's, good, it's probably not, never going to happen to anybody, but you, you can be in great danger. So at that point, you need to freeze and, and remain very, very still. And it's going to seem like an eternity, but actually fairly rapidly with no movement, the snake is going to settle down. It's going to stop. It's going to, it's going to you know, deflate its neck and it's going to move off. Uh, and away from you, and hope hope that you don't follow it. So that's the one time where you do need to freeze. If you if you've cornered it and it's reared up, uh, then freeze in place. If you're if you're you know say less than a meter uh, from it, freeze and it'll it'll move on eventually. Now, I've had snakes that have been on the road. For example, we've stopped the vehicle, we've got out, we've walked over to the snake. It is reared up, and we've stood there looking at each other. And uh, copperheads are famous for this. So they kind of rear up. And then I just stand there and look, and I stand there and I stand there, and then they'll kind of down. And then I've had them slide over the top of my boot afterwards and keep going. So they're not registering me as a threat at that point any longer. And and as long as you hold your nerve and don't do anything silly, they'll cruise around you, no worries at all. So so the main thing is give them a wide berth, be aware of your surroundings, watch where you're sitting. And the other thing really really important is if a child says they've seen one and says, particularly if they say they've been bitten, then you've got to take it seriously. And I, I had a situation a couple of years ago, I was talking to a, a woman who called me and they lived on a farm in Northern Victoria and they, they had a long distance between the house and the letterbox. It was you know, a couple hundred metres. And their son, who was eight or nine years old, had run down to check the letterbox, bare feet, um, shorts, and came back saying he'd stepped on a snake and he thought it had bitten him. And the father, the, the child's father ha had said, um, yeah, he's always talking, telling stories. I don't believe him. He's always telling stories. Sure, he stepped on a stick. He doesn't know what he's talking about. And the mother um, said, no, I, I, I'm i going to take this seriously. And she took him to hospital and they did a swab test and they found brown snake venom on his skin. Now, there was no venom in the system and the kid was fine, but um, it was a really good example of where you want to believe a child that says that 
Um, and so, you know, if mum hadn't been home and that bite had the snake had injected and the dad didn't want to believe the kid, and we know that people have died from brown snake bites in under 30 minutes, especially a small child, you know, that could have been a, a very, very sad outcome there. So so believe the kids, I reckon, you know, um, and, and, and teach your kids, you know, the same thing, you know, give, give the snakes a wide berth, kids, tell, tell us if you see them, um, be aware they can be around and and don't, it's okay to be scared. It's not okay to be stupid. So if you see one, it's okay to be a bit worried about it, but relax and enjoy the outdoors.